This demo is going to show how we can configure a desktop environment uh, with Deep Freeze to allow um, user profiles to uh, be redirected to a, an area, uh, either a network location or a local area on the hard disk, to allow user data to be retained uh, while still ensuring that the underlying operating system and the registry and all the, the key system files are protected by Deep Freeze. Now, there are a number of ways to uh, redirect data to um, areas that will allow persistent storage, again, such as a, a network location or a second partition on the workstation. Uh, in, in the case of this workstation, uh, I've actually used a utility provided by Pharonix called Data Igloo. And we'll take a look here, uh, Data Igloo, to redirect user profiles or uh, specifically the user directory um, that, uh, that contains data related to the user I've logged in with, being the Pharonix, log, uh, Pharonix user, to uh, a drive E. So um, I've only frozen C with Deep Freeze, it's the way it's been configured, uh, and I've redirected the user data for the Pharonix user to uh, drive letter E. And we can see here when we open the uh, Windows Explorer, uh, I've got a uh, what's called a thaw space, and all that indicates is that the thaw space or the partition that I'm redirecting data to was created during the actual configuration of Deep Freeze. Uh, I've got my thaw space um, uh, partition that's been assigned a drive letter of E, and I've got my Pharonix user data uh, in the uh, on the E drive. Now, just to show you, um, if I open up a library such as Documents. <clears throat> Um, and I create uh, a new folder in here. I'll actually open the My Documents that's located on the E drive. Um, these uh, are, are linked, so I will create a new folder and we'll see the new folder uh, appear on the E drive. And I'll delete it from the E drive. And of course, it gets deleted out of the library that's linked to that eDrive. So uh, the example I'm going to use is, is probably something that's uh, pretty frequent uh, in an environment that has uh, Deep Freeze installed, uh, and uh, uh, or sorry, that doesn't have Deep Freeze installed, uh, and uh, likely poses some administrative headaches uh, to IT departments. And this is users. Uh, who download and install software that's not approved for use uh, within the environment. And so in this case, uh, I'm going to use uh, the example of a, a torrent um, application called Deluge. I'll download the uh, application here and uh, we'll see exactly uh, what type of protection Deep Freeze provides um, for uh, in this type of environment. <clears throat> So I'm just I'm saving the downloaded file to the desktop. Again, uh, I, I talked about how we've redirected user profile data over to an eDrive, which is not protected by Deep Freeze. And, uh, and we'll notice that um, um, further on, after I do the restart for the demo, a file that's been saved to the desktop will, will remain on the desktop. Uh, and that's, that's by design, of course, based on the configuration that we have. But uh, I'll run the installer, and we will install Deluge Torrent. And I'll just click through the defaults, which is what a standard user will do. And while that's running, um, I'm going to do a few things here. I'll uh, perhaps personalize the background um, on this desktop. Uh, change it to the architecture theme, uh, perhaps. I'll create a, a new folder here. Um, sample folder. And uh, perhaps I'll add a bunch of uh, things to the taskbar here. Uh, magnifier. So we're finished the install. And I'll uh, run Deluge as an application just to show you. We've successfully installed the Deluge Torrent application. Uh, it's open, it's running uh, in this user environment. So what I'll do now uh, to, uh, to illustrate just exactly what Deep Freeze does, how Deep Freeze can protect against this type of behavior, is I'll do a simple restart. 
And again, while we restart here, uh, you know, important to highlight that because we've left um, the profile data uh, open, uh, such as uh, the, the desktop um, files that we've created on the desktop, my documents, um, uh, the, the user environment as a whole can still be customized by users. So it doesn't require, the application itself doesn't require users to change the way they do what they normally do, nor does it uh, put them in a situation where uh, behavior that they would expect to be able to uh, do, is certainly behavior that IT has um, told them they, they will be able to do, such as save documents into their My Documents folder, retain favorites uh, in, their, in their browser, um, customize their desktop background, if you will. Uh, all of that will be allowed, but uh, installing applications, unapproved applications, um, such as uh, torrent uh, clients or whatnot um, will be uh, addressed by, uh, by simply removing those installed applications uh, on reboot. And we'll see exactly the impact of Deep Freeze uh, in a second here once we finish the login process. So we're back up and running. As you can see, uh, the user environment um, has, uh, you know, uh, retained all of the changes made during the last session. I, I've been able to add icons down to my taskbar. The folder I've created on the desktop um, is still there. My original torrent download file um, is located on the desktop as well, but there is no sign of the Deluge application itself. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when I go into the Start menu, uh, normally we would see Deluge as a highlighted new application that's been installed. And if I do a search here for uh, Deluge, um, we uh, will not see uh, anything as a matter of fact. So, uh, And therein uh, lies the power of Deep Freeze. Uh, again, uh, fully able to customize your, your users' environments to ensure that they can um, customize their own work environments, but protecting the underlying operating system, uh, the system files that belong to it, as well as the registry from any uh, modifications or changes, uh, deliberate uh, or inadvertent.